All right, well, uh, hello, wine drinking people. We are back. And uh, some wines from Western Wine Merchants. This is a company that of uh, Gainesville. It specializes in wines from the Pacific Northwest, but they got a few things from California in their portfolio, too. And uh, we haven't seen them for a little bit, but uh, it's hard to get coverage in the whole state of Florida for some of these companies that are based out of the north. But uh, these guys have got a really interesting portfolio of wines from Oregon, Washington, and some California stuff, like the Pirano Estate that we started with, a Cabernet Sauvignon from Lodi. And uh, this wine was, uh, well, Lodi tends to be a little hot, you know, for me. Uh, Zinfandel from there can be good. Cabernet, maybe a little bit overdone, but this wine had some sweet herbs on the nose. Red sherry, kind of currant berry fruit. Uh, forward and fruity, a hint of kind of milk chocolate spice there. A light and easy drinking style of Cabernet with a kind of clean, refreshing finish, but, you know, a little bit light for my taste, even though pretty light on the wallet as well at fifteen seventy-five. dollars Tory Moore, a winery I hadn't thought about in years. I did visit this property when I was in Oregon years ago, and uh, they make really outstanding wines. This wine is just their Willamette Valley entry, 2008. Kind of spicy nose here with a red berry, hints of dried tobacco, light smoke, and some green tea-like aromas in this one. Got a tangy red cherry fruit on the nose with a nice hand of spice and a uh, you know, kind of light in flavor, though, for an 08. Kind of reminded me more of the 07 finish. Nice freshness on the finish, but a very good bottle of wine nonetheless. All right, Pirano Estate, the immortal Zinfandel from Lodi. Hey, what do you do if you want to make Zinfandel? Just name it some funny name, you know. I mean, the immortal. All right, well, this is what they do well in uh, Lodi, but this wine, you know, ripe, brambly, raspberry fruit on the nose, notes of fresh flowers, white chocolate, and a raspberry coulis-like fruit on the tongue, light tannins, uh, and kind of nice perfume spice, but hey, Zinfandel. Uh, what can I, didn't I say more? All right, Dusted Valley, Syrah, Stained Tooth from the Columbia Valley, and that's what you will get if you drink a lot of Syrah. It's got more of those anthocyanins in it and a lot of color and Syrah, so a lot of times that will stain your teeth. This wine's got a little Viognier and Grenache co-fermented with it, 400 cases produced. Uh, pretty floral notes on the nose, violet, black pepper spice, notes of toasty oak there, cherry liqueur, really rich and velvety on the palate, kind of jammy fruits, uh, liqueur-like in concentration, with pretty floral notes showing through on the finish. Bit over the top at 15.2% alcohol, but those of you that like the high octane might enjoy this one. All right, the R&B wine, Company Script and Seal. Uh, Script and Seal, I think, is the name of the wine uh, from Washington State. and It's a Bordeaux blend. It's got all five varietals except Petit Bordeaux and, uh, you know, classic bouquet for wa Washington State. These wines tend to have kind of sweet nose, sweet herbs, red cherry berry fruit, mixing it up there. A good amount of red cherry fruit on the tongue, soft and smooth tannins. And a uh, really nice crowd pleaser style of Cabernet Sauvignon. Very good stuff at $15. And then a wine called Dutch Henry Winery. Chafin Vineyards, uh, Hillside Estate. Uh, this is um, right up on top of Howell Mountain next to Cake Bread's Dancing Bear Vineyards. Gary Kohler, who used to play uh, steel guitar, um, you know, for the Jerry Garcia band. Tours with Michael McDonald. Uh, this is uh, his uh, little baby here. 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. They call them the bad boys of Napa Valley, Dutch Henry Winery, an old gunslinger from the Wild West. Well, a nice story, but uh, you know the wine's pretty good also. A good amount of that fresh plowed earth and minerality you get from Howell Mountain wines. A little bit of black pepper spice, spice espresso, dark cocoa nuance. A big and chewy wine with lots of everything. A bit mouth puckering at the moment, but uh, nice tobacco spice in the finish. Just needs a little bit of time there. This 2004 still packing a wallop here. Excellent juice though. All right, coming up next, one of the great values from the south of Spain, Domaine de Terrique.